Human DNA is everywhere and acts as invisible fingerprint. This raises a serious problem. Recent decades have seen enormous progress in many areas sciences. This also applies to genetics and techniques for reading genetic material. Currently, even trace amounts of DNA found in water, sand, or air they are enough to extract the information needed to identify a specific one person's. This raises questions about privacy, because every person he leaves his DNA in the environment around him. Law enforcement agencies may receive new weapons in the fight against criminals. However, recent discoveries by scientists also lead to serious problem regarding the protection of personal data. It turns out that every one man leaves DNA in the environment around him that acts as invisible fingerprint. Wherever we go, we leave behind DNA. Modern forensics uses those traces that come from saliva, the dead skin cells, hair, and other body secretions. Thanks to this, it worked to identify the countless criminals who would go unpunished, they. If it weren't for genetic code research. Recent years have seen enormous progress in DNA reading techniques. Two years ago, British scientists first showed that DNA released in the environment can be collected from air samples. Development of similar methods he helped reconstruct the Greenland ecosystem from two million years ago. Researchers they did this thanks to microscopic fragments of the so-called environmental DNA, the oldest ever identified. However, new discoveries are of concern and may lead to a serious ethical discussion. Scientists from the University of Florida have shown, that our DNA is really everywhere and someone with the right knowledge can it is easy to identify people, for example from aerial samples. The study was published in the journal Nature. A team of scientists used a modern approach to sequencing the genetic code to search for environmental DNA, environmental DNA. The samples came from sewage, sand from beaches and air from veterinary hospital. It turns out that they can be isolated high-quality human and animal Edna. With the consent of the people participating in the research, the team was and it will be able to isolate their DNA even from footprints on the sand, from the one used through the water and even identify people staying in the clinic veterinary medicine, treated animals, and viruses present on site. For comparison scientists have taken and tested samples from remote islands that humans will never they visit. There they found no traces of interest. The team showed that from tested samples water, sand, and air, it was extremely easy to isolate high quality DNA, thanks who could be identified with specific people. According to researchers, the implications of this discovery could be very serious. Experts suggest holding a public debate on the topic DNA sequencing of people who may not have consented to it. On the other parties the use of similar technology can have many benefits, the not only for science, but also for forensics. According to researchers, every discovery brings possible results benefits, but also threats resulting from the misuse of new ones technology. It's no different in this case argues David Duffy, main author of the study. These are issues that we are trying to raise already at early stage research so that policymakers and the public have time to develop appropriate regulations adds the scientist.